Hello and welcome back to the final video for our lesson number eight in pick marker controllers using bootloaders. Uh, in this uh, final short little video, we're going to be showing just the uh, like a piece of sample code. We're going to be getting back to familiar territory using the CCSC compiler again, and we're just going to make a real simple program that's going to blink some LEDs uh, on and off so we can basically test our bootloader and see if it works. Uh, basically, we got our 886 chip. Got our header file, got some fuses, the delay. We defined a couple of variables as the the pins for the LEDs one and two. And then set up our tri-state registers, all output, since we're just outputting, and then basically shut off the LEDs before we begin. And what it's gonna do is basically we're just gonna delay hundred milliseconds, turn the first one on, then delay another hundred milliseconds, and then turn it off. And then turn the next one on, and then wait turn off and we're just going to do that over. So basically it's just going to blink back and forth between the two between the two every hundred milliseconds or so. So that's basically it. Um, very very simple. Now what you're going to want to do is obviously you'll compile this code. Make sure you have zero errors, zero warnings. And you're going to come back to your to where it's at. And There's your hex file. So as I mentioned in the earlier video, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure and hook up your RS-232 so either if you have all USB get one of those USB to RS-232 uh, converter cables or something or just use the one in the back computer that you already have you're going to open up your little program here and as I mentioned in the other video um, once you get everything cabled up uh, make sure you remember your baud and remember we used a 4 megahertz crystal so we chose 19200 as our baud rate so I think that's about max for 4 megahertz um, don't quote me on it, I'd have to do the math to make sure, but um, 19200 is what we chose and you would normally click check pick and make sure that uh, your pick responds to you and make sure that everything's good but once you do that then you just click your browse you're gonna grab uh, grab your code Let's find our LED on code, there's the LED on and there it is and then all you gotta do is tap right flash and everything should transmit and everything should be good. Um, that's basically that's basically it. That's all you have to do. Very simple. Very, very simple, very straightforward. Um, what I'm gonna do is in I'm gonna make another video after this one. I, I promised you guys before that I would make a RS two thirty two video. I think I'm gonna kinda combine those two in the next video that I'm gonna do, and I'll show you how to do the bootloader and uh, what we'll be doing is the test program I'll use will write stuff out through RS-232 so that way we can watch it in a, in a terminal window or something and basically combine those two so I've actually got a breadboard free I'm cabling it up now uh, need to get uh, the RS-232 chip uh, I kinda ran out of those so I'm gonna have to get another one but that'll be in the next video um, we'll put that together and I'll actually show you physically how this all uh, ties together and you can actually see the software get flashed to the chip and uh, watch it work and see how it all cables up and everything and I'll even kind of recommend some other parts uh, and pieces that you can get uh, from just like Radio Shack to make this all work so um, please comment please ask any questions that you have uh, I know I kind of went through this pretty quick but uh, if you have any questions please let me know I'll be more than happy to answer subscribe um, there'll be more videos to come uh, kind of a prelude we'll be doing some stuff with some parallax modules uh, those of you who know what those are uh, some pretty cool stuff those of you who don't uh, it's a company that makes all kinds of different uh, little knick-knacky things that you can play with we'll be doing some stuff with some accelerometers uh, just some two-axis accelerometers um, we'll be doing stuff with uh, some RFID tags, uh, swiping deals. We'll also be um, dealing with maybe some sonic sensors, show you how to use the sonic sensor that Parallax makes. Um, just basically the simple stuff that you can buy from like your local Radio Shack. Um, so those of you that don't have access to you know, a place that has a whole ton of uh, stuff or have to order stuff, basically a place you can just, so you can just kind of go down to your local Radio Shack and just play around with the different components they have. Um, we'll be doing lots of videos on those, so look for that, and I hope that you guys enjoy these videos as much as I enjoy making them. Uh, and with that, I will conclude this tutorial. Again, any questions, please post in the comments. Thank you so very much.